before I hang up, I just want to say about the Jets, when are they going to draft with some balls? I'm tired of the safe picks. Look at what Cincinnati did. They got that wide receiver chase. And By the way, i got to ask you, how many of those safe picks actually were safe picks and turned out to be great players? Well, like we've made you know, a lot of stupid picks. I wouldn't say safe picks. It's smart, right? That's what you're looking for. Sm- the smart. Oh, he's the best player available. The smart pick. How many of those have worked out? Oh, I give you the answer. Very few. You know why? How many current New York Jets? Well, let me rephrase that question. This past draft actually looks this, very yeah, good. Yeah, I agree with you on that, yeah. especially on defense. Before that, not so much. Like there is nobody on the roster left from four drafts ago. Right. So just by tangible, but on a piece it, but, of paper but, but you're definition. Right. It's not about safe or gutsy. It's about smart. It's about smart and stupid. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's right and wrong. You got to draft the right guys. Yep. They have not done that up until last year, which right now looks like it could go down as a very successful draft. Well, and even last year's draft, even though we look like we have some legitimate you know, uh, defensive players, I think we'd agree to that. We liked what we saw a lot of the young cornerbacks and you know, nickelbacks and all that kind of stuff. If Zach Wilson can't play, the draft sucked. Well, nah, don't well me. No, I don't know if I would say the uh, entire. No, Elijah the draft Vera, sucked. No, that. Well, I can't say that because I'm Elijah Moore, you can say what you Elijah want. Vera Tucker, Michael eh. Carter sucked. Both Michael Carters. I think the draft looks different if Zach Wilson fails. Uh, I well, agree. No, with no. You. Now here's one of those. Deals I think it's where a B draft without Zach. A if B Zach draft. Yeah. No, it's an F. Elijah Vera Tucker could be the left guard for the next ten years. Yeah, okay. It's a it's Elijah a, Moore may be a number one receiver for the next ten years. Okay. Obviously, if the quarterback fails, yeah, that's a real big kind of F. step back as an organization. You and I will agree but to you disagree, can't, sir. Yeah, but you can't ignore the rest of the draft. I'm not. You F. are. It's not if Zach F. Wilson's a bum, and I don't think he will be. Right. But I got to play out the possibility because I've been alive too long not to know better. Right. If he turns out to be another bust, right, the draft was a failure. It's not an F. It is not if I have a Pro Bowl left guard for a decade. How could you ignore that? F. So you would grade a draft a Evan, you would grade a draft an F did, look, if look, there's look a book. Hall of Famer What's it in the say draft. In my book, it says F. That's it. It's in the book. Yeah, but your book's wrong. No, no. <laughs> what do we tell you? Your book. Your book. The book's never wrong. Your book's stupid. No, the book's not wrong. The book is never I, wrong. I agree with you to an extent, but not the F part. If Zach Wilson's a turd. It's an F. No, you want to tell me it's a C plus? Fine. You can't say it's an F if Elijah Vera Tucker and Elijah Moore are pro bowlers. Hey, Big Mac, you see what just happened there? Took me two minutes. I got him down to a C plus. (laughs) You did get me down to grade. Because I would agree to that. I'll get him down to a D before you You'll never get me down to a D. (laughs) But I'm open to negotiation. Unlike the players and owners who are still meeting, ladies and gentlemen, two hours in, I'm open to a negotiation. The one thing I will not bend on. I will not give you an F if Elijah Vera Tucker's a pro bowler. Can't yeah, well, do it. Well, he hasn't been yet, so let's see what happens, okay? Here's uh, Justin in Cedar Grove. Hey, Justin, what's up, buddy? What's going on, guys? What's going on with you? So you're talking about how many Sundays left until football. I'm going to flip it. How many Sundays during the football season do we get that if someone takes one away from you, how valuable they are? There's 18 Sundays. That's 18 out of 365 days. I've mm-hmm. done the math on this. 0.049% of the year. You mean to tell me I got to go to your dumb kid's birthday party on a Sunday at 0.49% of the year? I'm not asking for a lot. I'm asking to be left alone. And let's assume we watch all three playoff games and the Super Bowl. I, I won't count the Super Bowl because everybody watches. It. That's true. That's still only 0.5% of the year. Please leave me be for 5% of the year. My best friend's a diehard Alabama fan. You want to know what Saturday his wife takes to get married? The Iron Bowl. <laughs> wow. Home. Bad job. Like, so, that's a recipe for divorce, isn't it? Well, you guys are talking about marriage. You know, I've, I've done the math on this because how many times do I got to go to a kid's birthday party on a Sunday? Got to explain to your wife. I'm only asking for less than 60% yeah. of the year I, to leave me alone. You, that's you're, it. You're gonna I, I respect the math. That's why math is so of uh, such a valuable tool. You're going to kill me for yeah, saying this, Craig, kidding. and you're going to say... Right. Good job, Justin. Appreciate you're it. You're going to say... will be divorced in six months. Well, <laughs> it sounds that way. 